Are you a forex trader? Are you interested in how professionals are planning for the next week? Are you interested in trading plans for gold, dollar and oil? I'm going to give away my entries, targets and stop losses and the risk that I see for this next upcoming week. So what are you waiting for? Let's go! Boom! Trading Forex is risky, not appropriate for everyone. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Whatever being said in this video is only for educational purposes and not financial advice. And since Trading Forex is risky, don't risk your grandma's pension. She might need it. My name is Ivan Biddle. I am a Forex trader and I have been trading for over seven years now. Seven! <laughs> so let's go let's go to australian dollar us dollar and for this upcoming week i'm thinking what if it should go higher the fundamental reasons i will we will talk about that in the live tomorrow and gmt plus two at 19 30 in the evening and the technical reasons is that hmm, we haven't really made a new lower low but on friday we made a higher high and if then price comes down to the price of 76.32, that would be a excellent price to start looking to buy from. The other one is up to target at 77.55. That might not be the ultimate target. It might actually be just a temporarily target. If we are able to now go higher on Australian dollar, US dollar, this 77.55 I just mentioned, we're just going to go higher. Where would you put your stop loss? I would put my stop loss below here. 75, 75. Great, that is maybe 70 pips. The other thing is, it might also come down to 76.16, just as a yeah, plan B to the upside. If you are a seller, current price at the close is the most important sell for this upcoming week. So if we then go higher than that price, we are definitely now going bullish again. The risks for this week is there is conflicting interests of where this one should go. The COT, the commitment of traders report for the Australian was down for this, up, this week. It was and just to mention right now, the dollar was up for this week. So the past has been down, but I don't think the, past, the future is going to be down as well. But if you're a seller, that is definitely a price, the close price on Friday. For Euro USD, we have seen it falling, falling and falling. We reached almost the target for the month on so on Friday. Okay, what does that mean? That means this run for bears might actually be over. It might actually be over. And if you are thinking, well, this looks like a reversal. Well, you know what? You should look for price to come back down to 120 and then going higher. Target can be around 21.85. Your stop loss should be below 1955. The risks for this one is that it might continue lower from either 2050 or 2092. That is up to the market to decide, but I am definitely seeing that the price going downwards might be over. For the British pound, the American dollar, we are seeing currently a range. Well, but there is an important piece of information that was coming in for this week was the Bank of England did not want to go into negative interest rates. Ta -da! Ta -da 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 -da! Piece of information that is definitely important for the next couple of months. Okay, it might be months. That is why we are only looking for bullishness on the pound. You can look for price down to 37.13. You can look down to 36.86, but definitely look for the target at 84, no, 38, 48. But I also think 
the ultimate we might see 140 maybe not this week maybe next week but hey we are going higher so if dollar does get stronger next week and this one falls i am absolutely not going to take it okay do you hear me right stop loss 50 to 75 pips that's all up to you on your account size don't lose more than one percent per trade and don't lose your grandma's money for the british pound japanese yen oh there's a yen in here all right an extra bonus here we have price coming down to 144 would be amazing if we just got it 144 mucho grande <laughs> that was that was not good was it so i would just say great if price comes here i would be that would be awesome if price comes down to 143.76 great that too the other question is where are we going we're going higher there is no other bottom here um if yen tends to strength and sends this one down adios amigos stop loss should be below 143.32 but it's only guidance you choose your choice the risks for next week i think i've already mentioned them so let's jump to new zealand dollar us dollar which is in an incredible range incredible and we're just waiting for it to go higher and this week it might have gotten the catalyst it needs it is called stimulus stimulus might come soon and that's why dollar stri went straight up like a rocket ship that you never saw coming the nfp number was actually mm, okay to, to okay to, to to less than okay but stimulus package is going to so we're looking for the upside if it goes lower cool also we are in a range so there's no market there is no trade but just thinking what if it does go higher so i'm not personally going to trade this one i'm going to wait for this one to go higher but i'm setting you up for this one to go higher so that when we are by the end of the week are higher then we can trade it higher yes dollar canadian dollar we are now in a range but on the friday run it was a bit of a low coffee cheers we might now see price coming back to 27.19 for a short if it does come down i don't really know if it does go up i don't really know that is not the point the point is not about knowing or understanding the market look how wizard i am choose your prices choose your plan follow your plan and then if it works out boom if it doesn't learn from it write it down write down notes have a journal pro tip the other thing that i want you to do is look for the downside i also want to look for maybe going down to 27 we might even go lower all right if this corona stimulus package comes hot fast and easy this next week i'm not saying it does but if it does you know wink wink no, no, like everything my whole point is the stimulus package is the most important thing for the market at the moment it is going to stop everything going higher all, all dollar bullishness going higher we just go come back down again so stop loss where do you put stop loss above uh, above 28.50 that would probably borrow 50 pips stop loss great and yeah we just mentioned all those i can take a bit of an extra one dxy two seconds right dxy i think we came down to 91 on friday we can come back up to 91.50 or 40 or 30 for that matter and then lower maybe down to 90 even though this one is just a pullback to go lower and also it did land upon some kind of resistance also just to mention for purposes of having 
important information this is the monthly target it has been hit i would say so if it does go lower great it doesn't really bother me because that's good that just fits my narrative here we have the gold i told you earlier that we're going to have a low on 7th turned 5th because 7th is tomorrow it's a sunday it doesn't there's no market then yeah let's go higher okay so i'm only going to do bullish plans this is what i was looking for and if it does go lower great i don't care don't look at me we don't lose money then but if it does go higher oh lordy we're gonna buy so there is some head resistance at 1830 i'm not going to buy it until that is clear higher until then we have to wait uh, prices 1900 1960 2000 something above in there and remember if we now get our stimulus package what's going to happen to gold do you think gold is gonna go higher great um yeah cool any other questions any other questions your honor no great so target is loosely around 90 18, 15. i think it's gonna go higher uh for setups i yeah you can buy it there yes you can i also would like to see a double bottom i can also see a price going down to 1800 but if you're still in a buy great put the stoppers to break even and have fun i also think we're going to gap higher i hope for a gap higher wink wink no nudge that would be great and awesome and then just continue higher so that a plan a is gap higher and continue higher and higher uh Plan B is if it comes down to 1800 and plan C, there's no plan D. Star, uh, stop loss should be according to your lot size, your account size, and not according to how big your grandma's account pension fund is. Um, US oil is currently at an extreme target at the moment. So I think we have to have a pullback. Yeah, we have yeah, 55 shoes should be a good idea for this week at least. And then going up to 60. I think 60 is like the the piece of resistance that everyone is going to be like, if I can get that, I will take it. And might go lower after that. At least a pullback. If it doesn't do that now at 55, I think 60 might be the one. And if it goes down at 59, great. You are at extreme buy levels. You are. Um, above any targets, all targets. So if it does come crashing down, don't look at me. I just mentioned the risks. It is sky high. Great. And after that coffee break, let's continue. Silver. Whoa, there was a bad chart. Uh, we are turning higher. I think that's great. And then maybe 30, back up to 30. Sounds great. Um, what? How am I going to attack that one? I can't really say to you like, oh, you should be doing this and this and this. But what I would do is get this one. Mm, yeah, we're still bullish. We're still above there. Great. I was wanting to find the 15 minute chart. And I would say, okay, as long as we are crossing this ones to the higher side, I'm buying. Great to take that away. And as we now are reversing, higher, high, higher, low, buy, higher, high, higher, low, buy, higher, high, higher, low, buy. It is straightforward on the 15 minutes chart, okay? And yeah, have small losses, small lots as you just continue going with the flow. And if it does fall down, Great, you didn't lose in all, you didn't lose a lot of money on that sense. Tomorrow I will be live at 19.30 here on YouTube. So please subscribe if you haven't already, so you will be notified. And if so, you are not, you can be in my Discord channel and you will be notified as well. I think it is GMT plus one. So if you know London hours, it's one hour plus. If you know Paris, Berlin, or slow time, it is that time. So until then, don't risk money you can't lose. Be happy, stay strong, 
follow your plan, follow your process, and boom, have a happy weekend.